Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to answer a question that I received several months back that I just completely missed. So the question is, is there a chance to copy a root folder with everything in it and select only that root folder to delete it? I have a situation where I need to rename the root folder since there is no rename option. I have gone with the method of copy delete. S3 structure is like, is like this now, folder 1 slash folder 2 and then some contents in there. Folder 3, some contents in there as well. And the new rename, uh, we'll just rename the new, the root folder, which is folder 1. So the uh, new structure would be new folder 1 slash folder 2 and so on. So uh, the question is, what's the most efficient way to do this? And let's talk about that. So I've uh, written a script ahead of time uh, in order to make this video as short as possible. I'm going to walk through the solution a little bit, but essentially I'm breaking it up into three different parts. So we have uh, import um, our Vado3 library and instantiating our client. Uh, note, if you took my course on S3, uh, you'll know that I have my credentials saved in a credentials file uh, in my system. Otherwise, you would pass your keys here. So um, the next thing to do is like I have like this uh, initial piece of code that lists my buckets just so I can demonstrate like uh, the buckets that I'm showing and which bucket I'm going to select. This is obviously optional and it's not necessary in order to complete what you need to do. But I do want to show you what I have. So I'm going to comment the remainder of this code out and then just run that bucket list really fast. So if I run that bucket list, uh, you'll see here these are the list of my buckets. So um, we'll go ahead and select this S3 OSK bucket. This is where I have like a setup similar to what he mentioned. Um, and I'm going to switch over to Cyberduck. So if I go here into my uh, OSK Bucket 3000 and expand my example folder, you'll find here that I have a file within immediately within that folder, another subfolder with two files in it, an empty subfolder, and a third subfolder with additional files in it. So we're just refreshing, making sure that that is the case and I'm not looking at cache. Um, that is what the contents are. So going back to my script, let me uncomment out the rest of the code and we'll walk through it. Okay, so uh, the first function that I created, um, well actually let's back up a little bit. So you see that I uh, listed my buckets. Now the other thing that I'm going to do is actually I'm going to get a, um, a list of my objects in that bucket. So here I noted my bucket of interest in a variable and this is just handy so that I can pass it later on. And uh, the next thing is to actually save the list of the objects in this bucket to an objects variable, right? And this I will also pass later on. So my first function here is actually a uh, new root folder. So the steps are going to be um, copy the existing folder structure with the renaming of the new root folder. And then we're going to move the files over to our new folder structure. And then from there, we're going to clean up our old folder structure by deleting all the objects in, that would mean the files and the folder as well. So the new root folder will take the bucket argument, the list of objects, the old directory name, and the new directory name. Essentially, I'm going to be iterating through the contents of the new folder. And for um, in order to get like the actual folder names, right, like the objects that are folders or acting as directories, I'm going to look for the folders that have a size equal to zero. Um, and that just means that, you know, it's not an actual file. Um, and so um, essentially I'm going to capture the name of the folder, right? And I'm extracting it from the key property. And I'm going to replace the, um, uh, I'm going to basically uh, swap out a substring and take the old directory name and swap it out with the new directory. And that is how I'm going to create my new folders uh, by placing that object into that target bucket with that new folder name that I have here. Uh, the next thing is to actually move the files over from the old folder structure to the new ones. Again, I'm going to iterate through the contents and grab the old file name. If the old file, uh, excuse me, if the file size is greater than zero, now I'm actually looking at the actual files and it contains the old directory name. Uh, you know, do note that I, uh, that this is the directory that I want to impact and I want to ignore all the other ones. So if the files contain that old directory name, which the full qualified paths do, uh, then I will uh, go ahead and replace uh, the 
the old directory name with the new directory name in the in the file path. So basically, uh, giving it my new object name or my new file name. Uh, then I call the client copy object, and I'm basically saying, okay, this is the bucket I'm going to write it to. This is the new file name that I've kind of modified here, and what we're going to copy it are you know the things from the old or from the existing folder structure, right? In that same bucket but referencing the uh, the old folder or the old files in the old folder and here I just for like this you know kind of sake of debugging or kind of just viewing what's kind of going on uh, I'm printing the old and new file names just for visibility lastly um, after I move everything over I want to go ahead and remove my contents so I'm creating another function that says re recursive folder delete and basically I'm saying uh, I'm noting which uh, bucket this is going to occur, uh, the bu the object list. Uh, I'm passing in the object list so I can iterate through it and select the things I'm going to delete, and then also um, identifying the old directory that I am targeting deleting. So again, iterating through the contents of the object list, and then um, setting the old file or grabbing the old file name, and then setting the old folder. Uh, and here, uh, what I'm doing is if, even though I'm passing like in, you know, I'm going to pass the example a string uh, in order to identify the folder. I also want to um, suffix it with this forward slash. The reason being that if I have that example word in some other subdirectory that it's going to iterate through, I don't want it to uh, capture that one and then also delete it. So that is why I'm including this just kind of for safekeeping in case I have just a bunch of files and I want to prevent accidental accidental deletion. So now again, I'm checking the old file to see if it has the old folder name, meaning like the this old directory with the forward slash. And then um, if it does, then I'm just gonna delete the object from the bucket and from the like the old um, object path or object reference. So in order to test this out, um, I'm setting a couple of more variables here. My existing folder, uh, which is actually example and my new folder, which is going to be a new example. So if I go over to my ex uh, existing S3 structure, I have this folder name example with all these contents as we saw. And so now I want a new folder called new example and this one, the example folder to be gone. So let's go ahead and run the script. Okay, and here's that print statement that I had earlier where it's listing the existing folder contents and object paths and then the new uh, object paths right over here next to it so everything finished just fine now let's switch over to cyberduck and just confirm so i'm going to hit refresh ah we see here example is now new example expand the folders just refresh one more time to ensure we see everything and here we are seeing all the files that we had over in, excuse me, the files that we had in the previous folder. So, as you can see, that is uh, probably one of the simplest ways that, to approach it, just kind of break out your functions and uh, take it in those steps. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and hope you actually apply it and find it useful. Thank you.